Hello Palians, we have another quest today. I will be doing Red because I couldn't finish Tish's quest. I think he's blocking her. <laughs> so I have to start it up so Tish can come back here. Okay, let's see what uh, Red has to say. Can we just pretend I said something poetic? Hey, not to just make myself at home, but uh, I got something I need to run by you really quick. You don't happen to pay off my standing cartel debt, did you? I don't remember, did I? I wish I had that kind of coin. No, maybe I did in my sleep. Someone paid off your debt? Great. I'll say no. <laughs> if it wasn't you, then who? Zeki's boss. One-eyed Zeki got an uh, anonymous envelope to cash saying it was for me. Zed actually showed up at the inn asking who sent this to him and questioned me about who I've been telling about my deal. <laughs> that face. I told him I hadn't told anyone but I did tell you. And now I'm worried you might be in danger. Oh no. I can take Zed. Sure I can. <laughs> we have to get to the bottom of this. You've got that right. I could never forgive myself if something happened to you because of my stupid... stupidness. <laughs> I had to keep asking you for stuff, but do you think you could maybe try to do some snooping around and figure out what happened? I'm afraid if I look around, it will seem suspicious. I'm sure Zed's got tails and whiskers everywhere. I wish we could meet Zed. Thanks for Someone paid off Red's tip. It's time to find out more. Okay, ask around. Okay, so the only options the quests are giving me are Tish and Zeki. And I want to ask Zeki first. You don't happen to know what uh, Red's debt's been paid. Me? Debt? What debt? Never heard of it. Uh... Okay, I'll let Zed know. <laughs> Zed, what does he have to do with this? Oh no, the cartel must have assumed Red babbled about his deal. So you pay the Red's debt. I didn't say nothing of the sort. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> oh, so he did. He's such a good guy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go write an unrelated letter to Zed. <laughs> So you find anything more about the Ebtadi Itua I what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I cannot read that. <laughs> exactly. Speak speak common. Ah uh, so much for being uh, discreet. <laughs> Did you find out more about the depth situation? Ebtadi <laughs> That was supposed to be debt. It was Zeki. It was definitely Zeki. Zeki, that's a good one. There's no way he'd uh, waste his coin on me. He's way too worried about his own fiscal freedom to spend the uh, money on anyone else. I think you should talk to Zeki. Maybe instead of just asking around, you could look for some evidence. There has to be a paper trail somewhere. Hmm. Now, where would the cartel hide secret documents? I will think about you. It might be in here. Open the hatch. I wonder if Zeki's gonna be here. <laughs> because he wanted to send a letter. Oh, he's not. Oh, he did want to send a letter. Letter to Zed. read. I know there was a misunderstanding about the money I left you for the Majiri kid. Oh, I lost a bet with him and owed him his debt in return. Sorry I forgot to put my paw print on the envelope. I guess I'm getting sloppy this day. Your old pal Zeki. P.S. If you're down for a game of cards next week, I'll be in the city. Aw, Zeki's such a good person. Oh my 
regret right now. If you want more soup, I can make that happen. I carry a soup flask. Oh wait, that's random chat. <laughs> Show red letter. <sighs> you think this could count as proof? Um, yes. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, yes. No, I just thought it was nice reading with your... Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Come on, this could have easily been forged. You're kidding yourself. Zeki must have heard about this whole thing and just wanted to take credit for it. That's just the kind of thing he would do. No, that's not. I'm not helping if you don't listen. <laughs> I know it seems like I'm just being stubborn, but I'm stubborn for a reason. Zeki doesn't do things just to be a nice guy. It's sweet that you're uh, tr so trusting Kira, but I don't have any luxury. That Z guy could hurt me or Tish. If you won't help me to get to the bottom of this, then I'll do it myself. Next time I'll uh, something poetic. I still think it was Zeki. <clears throat> Let me see. Red seems upset about the evidence you brought. Maybe you should let him cool off. Wait for Red to cool off. I guess I need to wait for him for the next day or something. And he's gonna show on my plot. So, Okay, so now, now that Red has cooled off, he has sent me a letter. Oh, and he also gave me his present. Hey Kira, I know I seem like I'm being irrational about the whole Zeki thing. I just, after everything I've been through, it's really hard for me to believe someone would stick their neck out for me, especially someone with so much to lose. Regardless of what happened, I should have taken my feelings out on you. I shouldn't have. <laughs> Here, I baked you this to say I'm sorry. Food apologies are sort of my jam. Jam. And hey, this one contains actual jam. <laughs> uh, okay, so I also need to... Okay, so Red still doesn't believe Zeki could have been the one to help him. Maybe you should, you could talk to Zeki about it once you get to know him better. Progress both Zeki and Tisha's friendship to find out more. So I have to progress the other ones. So we can find out more on Red. And let's see the cake Zeki, I mean, uh, Red sent me. Oh, this is quite nice and big. Looks like a donut cake. My kitchen is quite empty. I don't even have a light here. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let me place it here so you can see it better. Okay pretty nice and it's also quite big I like it you can leave it here for now I guess because my kitchen is not ready yet the plushies can enjoy the cake okay so we'll have to progress on Zeki and Tish and then we'll come back to Red again Thank you for watching my video, don't forget to like and subscribe, hey. until next time, bye bye!